What's going on guys? So if you saw the last Duramax video, I was kind of rushing around everywhere trying to get things done because we were about to leave for vacation. Well, here we are a week later. Had an absolutely amazing time at Disney, but I'm excited to be back because we got our first major modification for the Duramax and this is going to ensure maximum performance and reliability of the truck. Let me show you what I got. So we had to start this build off the right way by tackling our fuel system and thankfully the team down at AirDog was excited to send us out their latest and greatest. So in today's video we're going to be on the AirDog 2 165 5G lift pump. So quickly for anyone that's maybe new to the diesel world, there's two major benefits to adding a lift pump to your truck. So from the factory you do have a fuel filter, but it's not going to offer nearly as much filtration as this. Having two separate filters, one obviously water separator, two fuel filter this is going to ensure that your diesel fuel is as clean and pure as possible now number two the lift pump portion of this it is going to pump your fuel from your fuel tank to your factory cp3 so stock form you got a cp3 sitting in the valley of the engine it's drawing or sucking the fuel all the way from your fuel tank to your factory fuel filter and then on into your injectors and that's obviously pretty demanding and over time they can become weak they say around that 200,000 mile mark not only are we going to have much more filtration we're also going to have our fuel pressurized to our cp3 so that we have optimum fuel pressure got everything laid out right here it's a pretty easy and simple kit to install don't get overwhelmed by the wires and the tubes and everything it's all going to go together nice and smooth we did the 4g on my last truck and we did that mounted on the inside of the frame rail i think we're going to mount this one on the outside we might not but i'm going to lay it out and see what i think because i do like the way that they look and it'd be a little bit different install than that video so with that said let's get started we're gonna go ahead and install our three fittings just unscrew this guy so obviously already some oil in there, but we're going to go ahead and dip that guy right there. Let's get some oil on that seal. Thread that baby on. 7 8 and a 9 16. Two larger ones are the 7 8 Like that. Let's go ahead and install our bracket onto our lift pump. You got four of these Allen head screws. Slip them in there, top and bottom. I'm just gonna kind of hold them in place. Slide this on, just like that. Just try to hold it into place evenly. And we got these lock washers and the nuts. There's going to be a 316 Allen and a 716 socket. Just tighten this baby on down. Now let's mount it to this frame bracket. We're going to go in the third and fourth hole down, two holes at the top. Let's throw these guys in there. You got to use this specific side so this is flat so that can go up against the frame. Just flip that guy over. Put our adapter on there. Don't want to forget about that. Our spacer, I should say. And then just take your lock washers, place them all on there. And this is obviously all adjustable. That's why they have all these different holes. But this is how it should mount on the outside positions like this. Just get these started. Try to eyeball it as straight as possible and then just take a 13 mil, tighten it down. Go ahead and just slip our filters back on for now. If I get all this lined up properly, this should slide in and clear the top as well as this front. I'm just going to rotate it in under that guy. There we go. So, 
Oh yeah. Perfect. I can clip your line right there. There you are. So on the bottom. And this baby is officially mounted on the truck. Just gotta tighten it down. Gotta spin our filters to where they line up, but daggum boys, that's looking good. That white and red. Oh my gosh, yes. So now for the less than fun part. We had inject the truck up as much as I can, give me a little extra space between the exhaust and the drive shaft, but we have got to disconnect this guy right here. We're gonna have a fuel disconnect tool, which I actually had from the last time. Surprisingly, didn't lose it. It's gonna be this guy right here. So basically you get it around the fuel line and then you pull this and it will pop that fuel line off and then we'll be able to reconnect our new line. There she is. Now you're gonna come to the front of the tank right above the cooler. It's gonna be this guy right there, and then we can pull that whole line out. There we go. And got a little bit of fuel. Thankfully, I was not right underneath it. Take your tool block off. And she's free. And we just gotta snake this thing out of here. Of course, my iPhone ran out of storage and cut the video, but easiest way to get that piece out is to take a wrench and right here on this Stick it underneath there and use this heat shield to pry it up, pop it up free, and then you just straight out the back and uh, she's out, no problem. All right, boys, we've made some major progress. Let me go ahead and give you all a little update. So we've got our fuel in and fuel out lines ran. So the one that we took apart earlier that goes over the fuel tank, you're gonna take your hose and push it in from here all the way up here. And then of course, put your fitting on, reconnect it there. And the way that I've got it ran is just straight across here, around here, and into the one that is the single side. That's the fuel in. And then your fuel out, we've got it snaked right there. And that's the one that's gonna connect here back to our OEM fuel line. So we've just got it coming in here, circled around, going in there. Yours are going to be potentially different if you set up your air dog differently. But with the way that I have it mounted, fuel in, fuel out. So all we have left is to run our return line. If there's too much fuel being pushed and the truck is not desiring that much, it's just going to squirt it from here back into our filler neck, which we have to put the little adapter and then it'll just go straight back into the tank. We've got to measure this guy right here. We'll actually go ahead and throw our fitting on right here, which you're gonna use a little bit of clean motor oil. I've spilled my cup twice, as you can tell, um, just to dip our fitting in, connect it to our hose, run our hose, cut the extra length off, and then we'll add that in. This part is directional, as you see. Clean above this before you cut it, because if yours is anything like mine, it's really gross. And you probably don't want all that crap spilling into your fuel tank when you cut this thing. And now we're gonna dip this little fill neck in oil so we can hopefully slip it on there easily.
boom, just like that. Now let's tighten our clamps down super snug. Here, just to hold everything in place like it was before. Once again, you want some clean engine oil, give you a little bit of lubricant, help it be easier to slide in there. But you don't want to get it all over your gloves like mine is, because uh, then it can make it hard to hold the line and get this pushed in hard. But uh, I'm actually going to slip this glove off to hold the line. That's the most important part that gets real slippy. So just shove it in there. Now, ideally, you want it up to this just a little bit farther than I got it, but oh, it can be a booger. Boom, done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just got done running our wires. So plugged in there, running down the same path as the OEM, coming up behind the fender well liner, up right there. You can see down in there. Got it zip tied all the way down up to here. And then I've kind of got the wires in a bundled mess right here for now, because it's a lot longer than it needs to be for, I guess, this specific um, use. I don't know why it's as long as it is, but anyway, it's got a power um, extender for this. We got the power mounted right there. Got the negative mounted right there. I gotta get a replacement one of those. I'll probably get another one of these extenders and put it on the negative battery, because it says in the instructions that you can do that. Um, but other than that, we got the fuse in here. It's going to be the second one down. It's a 10, which is right there, TBC ignition. So right below the 15, there's a 10. Got the fuse tapped in there, and there's a 10 below it. Same place I used on my last truck. Worked fine, no issues. So now all I gotta do is go grab a little bit of diesel fuel because they, they do want you to um, fill the water separator with clean diesel fuel and then uh, we'll purge the system with the fuel filter but um, other than that she's ready to rip we go ahead and fill our water separator with our 58 cents of diesel about perfect time to put the negative terminals back on and power up the system and we can unscrew this a little bit and bleed the air out i'm gonna go ahead and key on and if i did everything right pump should turn on she did now for the messy part I'm gonna go too low. Oh, there it comes. There's starting. All right, it's sputtered. I'm scared. All right, first start up. Sound and healthy. Nice, perfect. Let's go take it for a spin. I know y'all probably can't even see me, but you don't need to. You just need to listen to the glorious noises that this thing makes. better drivability is amazing just overall the truck feels great sounds freaking good too good gracious
catching back up with y'all the following day and as you can probably hear in my voice i've also caught a cold so that's just freaking awesome but i uh, drove the truck around a good bit last night and this morning and it's running beautifully um, no leaks or anything to be found so we got her all set up proper and i'm stoked on it dude this is one of those mods that's going to ensure the truck's happiness and uh, set you up for some good mods in the future because i think the 165 is good for what a thousand horsepower or something like that it's 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 up there you got the adjustment screw on the side that you can tamper with once you uh really need a lot more fuel as of right now obviously we just need it on the stock setting because we're a stock truck but um in the future we could definitely turn it up so a uh, huge shout out to air dog for sending us out this 165 5g to uh install and showcase for y'all so now we've got the 165 4g on the old lbz and we got the 5g on the new lbz so I'm stoked that we did the filters on the outside. I think it looks super, super clean. Uh, but if you do prefer that inside look, I'll have a link in the description showing you exactly how I installed them on uh, my extended cab LBZ. In the past, the AirDog 2 4G kit looks super, super clean. I got the AirDog, uh, I got the water separator perfectly <laughs> angled i could not get that one perfect no matter how many times i unscrewed it and screwed it back on that's as close as i could get it to you know the words facing out but looks super clean and obviously the white being like our contrast color for this truck i think it looks amazing and i don't know it's just something about seeing the lift pumps on the outside of the diesel trucks it just it just gives it like an extra bit of attitude or whatever but i do understand why some people like to have them hidden a couple different reasons why uh but yeah dude that's her so I'm pretty positive I filmed this much better than the last AirDog install video. I, I hopefully showed y'all all the different angles of getting in there and getting those fuel lines out. It can be a booger, but at the same time, if you get that tool and you just wiggle it back and forth and push, and you just got to feel for it, and they'll come off eventually. I got the one above the tank off super easy within like a couple minutes, and then the one that's in front over that cooler, it took maybe a solid 10 minutes, and it finally popped free, and all was good, so stoked dude stoked so like i said huge shout out to air dog i went ahead and plopped i don't know if you'll be able to see it i'm gonna be filling the sunroof up with our stickers all of our parts and sponsors and whatnot uh, oh. I, you can't really see it from here but you can see it like from behind the truck when the sunroofs pop like that and obviously inside when it's when it's shut i'm gonna have all the sponsors and parts that are on the truck on that sunroof and i think that's just gonna be really cool obviously we're wrapping it pretty obviously right here on the side you can easily read air dog so yeah huge shout out to air dog man it's just awesome for a company to work with me not only once but twice and i'm just super grateful for that so i'll have a link to everything in the description that was used in this video so with that being said hopefully y'all did enjoy comment down below if you have any questions concerns or statements and i'll, I'll check them out and with that said i'll see y'all in the next one